Alright folks, welcome back to the Dawn's channel. I am the Dawn Father and I've just came across this video. I'm not sure if it's been requested before, but it's right up my street of something to react to. It's um, American military. Uh, it's called Why You Never Mess With A Guard Of The Tomb Of The Unknown Soldier. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory really, isn't it? This is a place that commemorates not just one unnamed soldiers, or unknown soldiers, sorry, but thousands absolutely thousands people um, who never got laid to rest correctly because they couldn't identify them etc but they've chose this one soldier uh, and it's a representation of this sheer loss of life in the world wars and um, somebody feels the need possibly to try and come up get in the face of or antagonize um, or provoke a guard who's guarding this tomb which is a tomb which I've already um, stated is a representation of many soldiers who fought and died for freedom basically against um, fascism against so many different things um, so to insult that guard you're actually insulting everybody who died and also um, current serving personnel as well the ones that are there so Look, I want to see what they say in the video. I don't know if anybody does mess with them or if it's just an explanation of why you shouldn't. Either way, it should be a good video to watch. So before I start though, the link to this original video will be in the description section below if you want to watch it without my coupon in it. Feel free. Um, and all of our other stuff in the description section below as well if you want to check that out. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video and also leave a bell on. No more talking then. Let's go. They requested that officers remain behind the tent and red. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is one of the most continuously guarded monuments in the world. It's patrolled 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, regardless of the weather, by an elite regiment of soldiers known as Sentinels. These Sentinels are highly trained specialists in superb physical condition, ready at a moment's notice to defend the honor of fallen war heroes. So what makes the old guard of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier so feared and respected? And what happens when people push the boundaries and try to mess with one of the guards. Let's find out. Yes. The Old Guard is essentially ceremonial special forces, and despite their seemingly mundane job, they represent the very best of the best the Army can offer. It's so elite that less than 20% of all volunteers are accepted for training, and of those, only a fraction pass training to become fully fledged tomb guards. In fact, the all right, okay then. Um, this is something I never realised because something similar that you would have in the UK is of course the guards, the very famous guards at Buckingham Palace. They're not elite special forces soldiers but they are regular infantrymen that will have different sets of skills like you'll have machine gunners, snipers, etc, mortar men, anti-tank men. They'll be trained in general um, normal in 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 infantry and stuff but obviously have the drill of a more elite level than a regular soldier uh, and they look the part don't they but in this case it's actually a far better standard of training just to get accepted for it so i'm quite surprised at that Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Guard Identification Badge is the third least awarded badge in the entire United States Army behind military horseman wow. ID badges and astronaut badges. To become a tomb guard, an old guard soldier must volunteer by applying for appointment to the tomb through the sergeant of the guard. To be considered for an appointment, the soldier must be highly motivated and disciplined and possess a strong military bearing and soldierly appearance. If appointed, the soldier is assigned to the tomb for an initial two-week training period. Upon reporting to a relief, the trainee is assigned a tomb guard trainer. The trainer informs the trainee of what is expected of them, including following strict rules, training guidelines, and the need for complete dedication and commitment to the tomb. The training cycle is intense, consisting of a series of five exhaustive tests over six to 12 months. These tests focus on ceremonial performance, uniform preparation, and knowledge. If the trainee completes the training cycle and passes the tests, they are able to flawlessly conduct seven different 
different types of ceremonies, meet the highest standards of uniform preparation, and recite 35 pages of information without error. If the trainee fails any test, they are assigned back to their company. The successful trainee is awarded the Tomb Guard Identification Badge, and will be from then on referred to as a Tomb Guard or Badge Holder by their fellow Sentinels. Demonstrating how serious a role this is considered to be, the Tomb Guard Identification Badge is the only military badge that can be revoked for any action that brings disrespect to the tomb. The Unknown Soldier. Right. On the 11th Makes of sense. November 1921, the remains of an unknown American soldier were returned from the battlefields of France. Unidentified remains weren't uncommon during World War One, and without DNA profiling or reliable ways to match the list of missing soldiers with the discovered corpses, many bodies were simply marked as unknown. For this reason, the U.S. government approved the construction of a memorial in the Arlington yeah. National Cemetery in Virginia, United States. This would be the final resting place place of the returned unknown soldier and would serve as a monument to all deceased military personnel who were either lost or the remains never identified. The remains of the unknown soldier were interred beneath a three-level white marble tomb covered in a stone slab. Intricate carvings decorate the wow. sides, including wreaths and figures representing peace, victory, and valor. The rear of the sarcophagus includes an inscription which reads, Here rests in honored glory an American soldier known but to God. Why you shouldn't mess with a tomb guard. While the role of the center A spectacular um, gravestone monument. Of all the reasons why they've just explained. It would be fitting for like a pharaoh, a queen, or a king, or some emperor, or a president, your state head. But this is a, just a normal, regular guy from who knows where. Um, and as they've said, only God knows who he is. Um, but that shows you just the feeling towards not just that man, but the sheer scale and loss of life. They felt the need, felt the importance to show a representation. That one person actually is a representation of all the men who lost their lives who were unknown. And I think it is a really, really beautiful thing they've done. Um, I'm really quite impressed by it, to tell you the truth is mostly ceremonial, there are some things you just don't do when visiting the tomb of the unknown soldier. The old guards will appear strong and silent, that is, until you break one of their rules. Cross over the barrier into the plaza and you'll probably hear this. It is requested that all visitors remain behind the changing rails at all times. Remain behind the changing rails. And you do. <laughs> He's not showing the rifle at them, he's just stood in a more aggressive stance and shouted a clear, loud order. Now he's cocked his rifle. That's the next stage. Respect get behind the rail, and by God you're getting times. behind that rail. If you're being loud, rude and obnoxious, you'll likely get this response. Remain standing for this ceremony! It is requested that everyone maintains a level of silence and respect. It is requested that everyone maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect at all times. These sentinels like are it. very similar to the Queen's Guard at Buckingham Palace. However, Brilliant. they aren't trained to remain still at all yeah. times. Get too close and the sentinels will gladly point their M14 rifle straight at you. They aren't messing about. Day in the life of a no. tomb guard. The old guard is made up of three right. tomb squads or reliefs, numbered first through to third. Unlike traditional army units, tomb reliefs are organized based on height, so that the tomb guards are similar in size during the changing of the guard. The three reliefs are on duty, utilizing 24-hour rotating shifts. A tomb guard's day begins at 5 a.m., with arrival at the tomb quarters 1 for duty. The tomb guards will inspect the quarters, prepare their uniforms, review orders, and receive their duty assignments for the coming day. At 6 30 a.m. the tomb guards inspect the trainee's readiness and uniforms. If a trainee meets relevant standards, the tomb guard may allow them to walk the first morning guard change known as bolo at 7 a.m. The evening bolo will be the final change and walk of the day. During the hours of the day, the Arlington National Cemetery is open to visitors. The tomb guards will perform several changing wow, of the guard and wreath laying ceremonies and the walk statues the as well. During summer hours, the changing of the guard ceremony takes place every half hour, and during winter hours, every 
every hour. Although all walks are important, the most coveted walk for a tomb guard is the midday noon moon walk. During the same time, the trainees perform mirror time, conduct uniform preparation, study knowledge, check in wreaths, and alert the tomb guards of the next changing of the guard. 10 minutes. While guarding the tomb, sentinels do not display rank insignia. This is done so as not to outrank the unknown soldier, whatever their rank may have been. The tomb is guarded 24 hours a day and 365 days a year. So after the evening bolo, no ceremonial changes and walks in battle dress uniforms are performed until the next morning's bolo. Guarding the Tomb In March 1926, the U.S. decided to post a permanent guard over the tomb of the unknown soldier. Soldiers from the nearby Fort Myers, members of the 3rd Cavalry Regiment, nicknamed the Brave Rifles, were first assigned to guard the tomb. At first, they were enlisted only during daylight hours and served just to discourage visitors to climb on or disrespect the monument. By 1937, guarding the tomb became a round-the-clock job, and on April 6, 1948, the 3rd U.S. Infantry regiment known as the Old Guard was designated as the Army's official ceremonial unit, tasked with guarding the tomb of the unknown soldier. Old Guard Myths right. The Tomb Guard Sentinels have a bit of an intimidating reputation, and it's all thanks to some pretty fantastic urban myths that have surrounded the Old Guard for decades. Fortunately, we're here to separate fact from fiction. According to one urban legend, Sentinels live for two years in a barracks under the tomb and are not allowed to swear, watch television, or drink alcohol for the rest of their lives. Fortunately, this is completely false, and members of the Old Guard are allowed to indulge in the occasional <laughs> and, and not like to drink. And finally, it was once rumored that during of Hurricane course. Isabel in 2003, the tomb sentinels refused orders to abandon their post, despite the inclement weather and perished in the storm. While it's a cool story, it's also bogus. While the tomb requires 24-7 guarding, contingencies are in place in case of lightning, high winds, or torrential conditions. What do you think of the guards? Let us know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications on to make sure you never miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching. Well, we'll that's see the end of the, the video. Time. Some interesting history about it, how, how, or sorry, of how it came about. One thing I do want to say, which the video sort of never covered, I think what you're seeing now with the influx of social media and people trying to make videos viral is people testing these sorts of guards coming up, taking liberties, crossing fences, getting up in the face off, antagonizing and um, trying to provoke a reaction and you just don't do it. Regardless of you trying to get a million likes on social media for getting punched off a guard or getting rifle butted or in the worst case scenario possibly shot. Um, you're actually disrespecting, in this case, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Um, you're disrespecting the Fallen. That's what you're doing. They have their traditions. Um, I think it's an incredible thing that they've done. They've made this, this monument that tourists can go and observe and see the changing of the guards, see the ceremonies, see all the things. Just stand up, pay your respects, and shut the fuck up. That's all we're asking. You can come and see it, but carry out all of our commands correctly and we won't have a problem. But social media has grown this whole fad of people trying to test folk. Well, I, I tell you something, don't bloody test them because if they come, you come up to their face, they're well within their rights, not only to defend themselves, but also uh, the dignity um, of these fallen it is, you're actually, it's not, as I said, it's not one fallen soldier, it's the unknown fallen soldiers, the many, and um, you're disrespecting it, thinking, oh look at me, I can run around, I'm this, that, I'm not the other, no, bang, you will be met with severe force, and I fully condone that, because you're lack, you're scant regard for the ceremonies, your lack of respect to it, and your lack of respect to the guard who's standing there, Come rain, rain, hail or shine, 365 days a year. The myths were pretty funny, but ultimately they're doing that and they're taking that job very, very seriously and you're coming up there trying to uh, make a name for yourself. A two minute uh, bit of fame for whatever reason. I've seen it in London now where they come up to the, the Queen's Guard 
A lot of these videos are also fake because it isn't the Queen's Guard. Some of them, they does not have his belt. There's never going to be a time the Queen's Guard does not have a belt on. A lot of these videos are absolutely fake. Being called out. These people aren't soldiers. They're actors. And they're letting on that they've punched someone. And this is how people are getting viral videos. So, this hasn't happened. But... That's not to say if you don't, if you, if you're about to take the piss or you're going to go up and do these things that these men or women will not be within their rights to act, that they won't do it because of course they will and as I said I fully condone them um, acting. And you've seen it, you've seen the levels of progression of like right now, okay I've come towards you, I've given you a clear loud order, you're still coming towards me so the next stage is cocking the rifle but still not pointing at anyone just letting you know right there's a round in the chamber now get back do as i say if you're going to continue when we're going to, then we're going to go through the next stages which you hopefully don't have to do but we're willing to do it so incredible video and um, really the best part about it is the fact the absolute respect that the country has shown um, this one soldier and it's on uh, it's on center stage now for everybody to go and see it respectfully and also the other statues of of course the, the flag Iwo, J Iwo Jima where they've put up the flag against the Japs um, so many different things there that you can go and see and I think it looks like a beautiful spectacular area in Virginia there I would really love to see it um, Great video, I enjoyed that, a little bit of history about the guard as well, um, a little bit of the day to day soldiering that they do, of course it's not front line stuff but they are front line trained as the video has said, they're actually higher than front line trained, they're more special forces, uh, I don't know whether or not that is accurate, I would like somebody who knows a little bit more about it to confirm that for me because um, it's very easy to throw out the SF name there. But why would you waste special forces guys out of their day job just to stand at a tomb? I don't know if you would do that. However, I, I stand corrected if I'm wrong. Uh, it's just, I, I'm putting the question back to you. Are they more special forces trained or is it just more intense in, ter in terms of learning all the paperwork, all the history, all the stuff surrounding the job. You're trained so much for much more on that particular job than anybody else would know um, about it. A more elite at that particular job. That's my question back. Is that the case rather than special forces sort of um, training? Uh, I'd be interested to know. Thanks very much for watching anyway. As I said, the link to the original video will be in the description section below. Um, also, our social media accounts will be as well. I've got Patreon. If you'd like to become a patron, that would be fantastic, where you can get a personalised shout-out and a video of your choice if you do that. We're selling merchandise as well. That's in the description section below, and so is our Instagram. Follow us there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and put the bell on so you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks very much for watching. I am the Dawnfather, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.